At the same time, transport between Wajir and Mandera counties has been paralyzed due to heightened Al-Shabaab activity in the area. Now, area provincial administration suspended public transportation following several attacks targeted at vehicles plying the Mandera Wajir Highway. Let's get more from our very own Hassan Mugambi. Abdirashid Mohammed, a businessman based in Mandera, is at loss. He has had to postpone his journey to Wajir due to the fluid security situation. <laughs> Mandera bus chairman Mohamed Bardad stating that though transportation resumed Monday, the Wajir Mandera route is still out of bounds. That one also caused us inconvenience because there are people who wanted to attend interview in Nairobi, there are others who wanted to attend uh, uh, in the university, but uh, the notice came so abruptly. To travel to Wajir from Mandera, travelers are now forced to travel all the way to Moyale through to Nairobi, Garissa and back to Wajir, covering more than a thousand kilometers. The direct route between the two towns is a mere 345 kilometers. Last Sunday, a Nairobi-bound public service vehicle was attacked at Jabibar area near the Bamboo Police Station along the Wajir-Mandera Highway. Suspected Al-Shabaab militants sprayed bullets on the vehicle, luckily missing the passengers on board. Moments later, an improvised explosive device went off, missing a police vehicle by a whisker. Mandera County Police Commander Jeremiah Kosiong has directed sub-county commanders to increase police surveillance along the route, assuring Kenyans that it will soon be safe. Al-Shabaab activity is said to have increased along the Kenya-Somalia border after the 12th April abduction of two Cuban doctors who are still in captivity. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.